Hello and welcome to today's webinar on digital services. My name is Lori Matuzo. I'm the marketing lead here at Hein Online, and I am joined today by my colleague Noah Short, who is our senior manager of digital production. Hi, everybody. We are thrilled to have you join us today. If you have any questions during the webinar, please feel free to use the Q&A option, and Noah will be monitoring questions as they come in. So throughout this webinar, we will be discussing our various scanners that we have here in-house for digitization, and we're also going to provide uh, some examples of what we scanned here over the years. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, I'm joined here by Noah. My name is Lauren. A little brief introduction about the two of us. Um, I've been here for over 20 years. I currently am the lead marketing uh, staff member, but I also oversee all of Hine Online support, so I have a great understanding of what our customers need. Uh, Noah has also been here for more than 16 years. He actually oversees all of the digital content production process that happens at Hine Online. Um, he um, is an expert in scanning and indexing for all of the Hine Online databases, as well as, as any uh, digital projects that come through to the company. Uh, so a little bit about us. So if you're not super familiar with us, which I believe most of you are, uh, we started off in reprinting old books and then to microfiche, and then eventually to Hine Online, which is our premier online research database. So we've actually spent more than half a century successfully delivering high quality documents to the library community across the globe. And we're here now that librarians are looking to take some of their more rare content, some of their historical content, maybe clean out their shelves and get that into the online world. Uh, so why are we experts in digitization? Well, we understand how to digitize based on document type. So we are very familiar with Unbound and Bound and Microfiche. We've dealt with that over the years. Um, we've actually researched all the most cost-effective approaches for document conversion. What's more is with Hein Online, we can actually digitize your holdings and put them into an image-based, fully searchable format, and we could host that for you. And with all of our digital content, we actually deliver some OCR PDFs along with the TIFF and JPEG of each image. So you're going to have all those files when we're done digitizing your content. Some of the services we offer, um, obviously we can digitize fragile, rare, bound books, microfiche, uh, you name it, we've done it. We can also add metadata and indexing. So whether you're looking for basic or very in-depth indexing to help with the ease of searching, we can make that content discoverable for you. What's more, we can host your content for you and we can put it on Hein Online as well. So you could access that through Hein Online or via our platform for hosting. And lastly, of course, we have Noah here who is our expert and our guru. So he's always here for any consultation questions that you might have from all the way from the beginning of your questions to the very end through your digi digitization process. Why Hine Online? Well, we have digitized more than 200 million pages. Uh, we've been doing this for over 30 years, so we're very experienced. And uh, I can tell you that we have a lot of trusted librarians who will speak on our behalf. We've handled very, very rare content that librarians were almost a little hesitant to hand over. Um, but now they know that we are trustworthy and we can handle that content. And what else is we've done all the research for you. So we're constantly looking to see what's new, what's out there, what's the state of the art equipment, and we have that in-house. Now you can save your, sh your uh, shelf space and money by using Hein Online. So anytime you add content to Hein Online, we may provide you a discount or it may even be free of charge. We also do look for donations. So if you're looking to clear space and want to get rid of some content, let us know what you're getting rid of and we'll take a look and see if it's something that can be added to Hein Online. So the benefits of Hein Online is Obviously, we're a very user-friendly platform if, you're, if you've ever been in our database. We have very unique AI tools and research aids to help our users discover the content that comes with these documents. Um, if you're new to researching or you're an expert researcher, Hein Online is so easy to use. 
So what we're going to do now is take a look at some of the scanners that we have in house. So our first scanner here is for bound book scanning. This is called our Curtis scanner. So this would be if you have a really old, rare, fragile book. Uh, maybe you, you don't really want to open it up. You know, the, the spine is very uh, delicate. These books are only open to 110 degrees and they don't need to be unbound. What's more, we have some really nice shipping containers, heavy duty, so that when we uh, send them out to you and you ship your content back to us, we can tell you that it is sure enough secure, your books are safe and sound, and when we return them to you in that shipping container, they're going to be in the exact same condition as you receive them. Next up, we have bound book scanning. So this is our DL mini scanner. Uh, this is actually an automatic book scanner. This is a really cool scanner that we have in house. What it does is we put it into the machine and it actually automatically detects uh, the sizes. And, and if there is a double page when it gets flipped, the machine will stop and go back and retry to pick up those pages and scan them. It does scan up to 1400 pages per hour for a max speed of 1500 pages per hour. Uh, with the flexible algorithm, um, it's the easiest way to separate those pages one turn at a time. And as I mentioned earlier, it is very cool because once you put the book in the machine, it actually auto detects everything. So it does a lot of the work for us, saves a lot of time and money. Next up for unbound book scanning, we have our Kodak scanner. So this would be more for content that you might be more comfortable dismantling. Um, something that you can say, go ahead, rip off that spine, rip off the cover. And again, this is gonna be more cost effective for you if you're okay with doing that. Um, this again is very high speed as you can see here. I'll run through that video one more time. We have one of our operators here kind of just loading the machine and you can see just how fast it goes. It actually scans an average of 7,000 images per hour. I'm sorry, pages per hour. Next, we also have microfilm and microfiche. So this is actually where our company started. So we're really knowledgeable in this area. And we recently purchased the FlexScan machine. So the first one here we have on the left um, is going to just showcase us scanning some fiche. So you'll see that the camera's there, the lens, and it's scanning that fiche back and forth to get those digitized items um, handed right over to the computer. And you'll see those images loading on the computer. Um, this scanner has incredible speed and you can see the images are so sharp and we have a great definition because these scanners use fiber optics as their light source. So that's going to eliminate hot spots and uneven lighting. Here on the right hand side, we have roll film. You can see kind of going right through that machine and you see how fast it's going. Again, this machine scans an average of 7,000 pages per hour. And again, you can see just how fast those images are rolling right onto that computer screen. Lastly, here we have actually a home belt oversized scanner. Our production team, Noah and uh, Skylar, actually got together and built this themselves. So it's a really unique tool. Um, this is going to be used for any of those oversized objects. So if you have a huge map or you can see this oversized book here, we have everything laid out so that we can adjust the camera. We have some great lighting. Um, you can see our camera and our lens specs there that are really great for picking up on those images for oversized items. And this is what we call our Skylar cam as it was helped built by uh, Skylar. So now we're going to take a look at some of our digital service projects. So who do we work with? Um, that, that's actually a great question and we get that a lot here. So we actually work with a large variety of people. So not only for high and line, but for digital services. Um, we work with religious organizations, law schools, academics, high schools. Uh, genealogy associations have come to us. So we have law firms, uh, sports organizations. You'll see in just a little bit, we have an example from the Buffalo Bills, which we like to boast because, you know, they're our hometown team. Um, but that's huge for us. So uh, even other vendors have come to us and said, hey, do you think you could scan this for us? 
So even if you think you might be out of the scope of who we work with, I promise you, you are not. We are more than happy to help. Just give us a call and let us know, you know, what your project is. Um, there's nothing we haven't done here. Just a little bit more information on some of the people we've worked with. Um, so you can see this is just a very, very short list. Our list is actually extremely long, but I kind of just picked and choose a couple um, for you to get a good idea of who we do work with. You can see the variety here um, and all these people will vouch for us. We've gotten a lot of great testimonials from a lot of our customers um, who are very satisfied with all the various uh, digital service projects we have. So ask around. I'm sure you probably know someone who has used us for digitization. Some examples of items we've scanned. This is actually a really unique one uh, that I think people find really exceptional. So. Uh, Buffalo and Erie County Public Library is obviously in our hometown here in Buffalo, but they came to us and said, hey, you know, we have all these catalog cards. Is there any way you can digitize them and put them in uh, to like a hosting service so that we can access them and search them? So we actually scanned 4 million catalog cards. It was a lot of content, um, but you can see these are actually screenshots directly from Hein Online. Uh, what's really cool with this is we actually custom built a browsing collection for the Buffalo and Erie County Public Library. So here you can see that we have this custom built landing page for them. And all they have to do is simply click on one of the letters as if they're opening up their own catalog card. So it's a really neat concept that we designed for them. Obviously, as you can see from the screenshot, this is going to be very true to print. And we went through and indexed all of the content, as you can see in this screenshot here. Um, so you can actually search the title here um, for uh, authors in names. And of, of course, all of this is discoverable with what our production team has done on the back end. So this was a very unique and special project. But as you can see, if you're looking for something or you have a vision of how you'd like to see that content, we can also work with you there. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're in the back of your head saying, well, I want this, but I'm not sure Hein Online can do it. Um, always bring it to us. I'm sure we can figure out a way to make it work. That that project was a, a very fun project to work on with Buffalo Area County, and it did take a, a couple of years to process all of them. So we can, it takes some time to process some of these, um, but we're we're up to that challenge. Thanks, Noah. Yeah. Uh, another uh, example here from Buffalo and Erie County uh, Public Library. This was an extremely, extremely, extremely rare and fragile book. Um, our Operators here had to use special gloves. We had to be extremely careful with this. And um, from what I've been told, Buffalo and Erie County was a little hesitant um, as this is something they really want to digitize, but they were afraid to take it out of that rare section of their library and have it be touched and scanned. Um, but we took it with the utmost importance and we went slow and we made sure everything was done by perfection. Everything was returned in the same condition as we received it. Um, with this project, we actually even scanned uh, the, the spine here. So you can see this is actually uh, an image we took of the spine. Um, I, I'm not sure of the full story on this. Maybe no one knows, maybe he doesn't, but I, I've also been told that this was signed by someone very important. So this makes this book even more rare and special. So we were just very pleased that Buffalo and Erie County trusted us with something that was so dear to them. I do not remember the signature, but I this might be a book that I might have actually digitized back uh, when I was in charge of scanning. <laughs> <laughs> so before you oversaw it, you might have actually scanned this one. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> very cool. But you can see very true to print. Again, this is exactly how it looks when you access this content in Hein Online. Uh, as I mentioned, the Buffalo Bills approached us and we actually have their entire entire media guide archive. We also have three additional titles that they published. As you can see here, again, this is a screenshot directly from Hein Online. We put it into a hosting platform for them so that they could search and use it at any time. Everything is uh, color um, coded. So you can see this is exactly what it would look like if you had that media guide in front of you. Um, so this is one of our claim to fame that we have, you know, the NFL came to us and said, hey, can you help us with this project? Um, 
So as I said, we cover a variety of different projects. Uh, this is another fun one. So uh, you may have seen in our list of people we work with, whether it's high schools, law firms, academics, uh, this happens to be a high school that approached us and said, hey, um, we're looking for all of our yearbooks to be digitized so that we have a record of them as the years go on. Um, and you might recognize the face here in the left-hand side. This is Ben Boron. He's our very own Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Hein Online. Um, so we always like to kid around that we have some old pictures of him in Hein Online. But again, this just speaks to the quality. As you can see, this is exactly like a true-to-print image. Um, all the color is there. We even have which I thought was really cool, so I grabbed this as a screenshot, is we have signatures from people within these yearbooks. Um, so there's a lot that we can uh, grab with that scanning and something that you can hold on to for a very long time. Uh, this is also another actual local uh, college here, Canisius University. We actually have their student newspaper. We host it for them. We have digitized all of it again in color PDFs. This is called their Griffin, which is their student newspaper ran by the students, obviously, and it just gets released uh, every so often, and they have news about the university and, and things going on around Buffalo that relates to the school. So again, we host this for them, and um, they can share this with uh, the university students, and anyone can go back and read something as far back as, you know, 1933 with some of this content. So uh, lots of historical content. Uh, to keep in mind when you're running to uh, preserve some of your items. So miscellaneous other items that we have scanned in the past, we have done uh, Supreme Court briefs for multiple states. Um, as mentioned throughout this uh, webinar, we use multiple, multiple media formats, whether it's roll film, microfiche, bound or unbound books. Uh, we can work with whatever you got. Other items that we've scanned and hosted, uh, photos and scrapbooks, annual reports of various publications, history of Supreme Court documents, various legislative histories, and again, just other miscellaneous, miscellaneous materials that whether it's a personal project or a university is trying to you know, get stuff off their shelf and get it into an online format, um, we have done it here with our digitization. Uh, and this is just a nice little video. I like to just showcase how our production team actually goes in. So this is going to be a, a firsthand look at what our production team does it here at Hein Online. So this is obviously not only for Hein Online, but also for our digitization projects. So when you have something with pagination or various titles or authors, and you know you might want to have all that content discoverable after we digitize it for you. Um, this is what we call Flipper. It's our internal service here, and our production team actually goes in and keys in all that information for you. So as I play this video, um, you'll see here, this is an article from the Yale Law Journal, and we can see here that someone is indexing the title and adding an author. So again, when you are using this content within either our hosting platform or Hide Online, it's going to be discoverable because of all of the indexing and pagination that our team does on the back end within production. Uh, here's just a really nice testimonial. Um, Ann Walsh Long is someone who has been working with Noah for a while, um, and she's had nothing but nice things to say. So I, I did just want to share this uh, testimonial with you all because it really does speak to um, what we strive to provide here at Hein Online with our digitization services. Um, she mentions that she had micro microfilm that uh, spanned from 1862 um, all the way to 1999, and she started to ask around and asked other libraries, hey, you know, where do you get your digitization done? And Virginia State Law Library had said, hey, we had success with Hein Online, maybe you should reach out to them. Um, so Anne reached out and had a nice conversation with Noah. They actually have ongoing conversations as we're going to be doing more and more for them in the upcoming years. Um, but as you can see here within her testimonial, uh, she mentions that um, we have we had a fast turnaround. Everything was returned in the 
same condition that they sent it to us. Um, and she was so thrilled with um, what we provided her content wise that she's already has a number of projects lined up for us in the future. Um, so if you know Ann Walsh Long personally, I highly recommend reaching out and asking her uh, specifically how her experience with us went because she um, has done a lot with us and has nothing but great things to say. This has been a really fun project to work on with Ann. Um, she sent us all of the material up front. I've been, we, ho we hold it for her. If she needs anything scanned, if she has anybody asking for things, we try to turn that around as soon as we can for her. It usually takes us about a day. But um, yeah, it's been, it's been a fun project and uh, I look forward to continuing working with Ann. Thanks, Noah. Uh, a little bit about us, Hine Online in general. If you're not familiar, if you're newer, you kind of just jumped on this webinar to see what we're all about. Um, so, uh, yes, we do provide digital services, but we also are a multidisciplinary research platform. We have over 105 different uh, collections in Hine Online. Uh, we have 1,500 multidisciplinary subjects. We cover journals from more than 80 countries. We have 3,300 academic journals and growing every month. We are adding new journals to Hein Online. Um, that is something that we are very well known for, kind of like our bread and butter, is that um, one thing that sets us apart from other vendors is all of our uh, journal coverage dates back to inception. So if a journal comes to Hein Online and says, well, you know, we want to be in your database, how do we get set up? The first thing we say is, well, we have to have your very first issue because we want comprehensive content. So any journal that exists in Hein Online, we are going to have that very first issue, even if it was you know, published in 1860. So we have it all from beginning uh, all the way to current. We also have a lot of international government uh, publications. Um, and one thing that you might notice that's a common theme here is we strive for customer service. We try to help our customers in any way that we can. Um, we believe we have unparalleled customer support. We have live chat, uh, a dedicated support team that's here to help throughout the day if you're navigating and searching in Hein Online. We have live training. Um, we do live webinars with various customers. Um, once they've signed on to a subscription, they usually reach out and say, you know, can we have a little bit of a training session to get our, our librarians or our professors up to speed? Um, we do live trainings. We also have, obviously, our dedicated support team is here for phone calls or any emails that come uh, through. We also have very extensive help resources. So we have lib guides. We have training videos that we're constantly adding to YouTube. And we have a searchable knowledge base. So anywhere you look, we are going to have a help resource for you somewhere, because uh, that is what we do strive to do here best at Hein Online. On top of that, we have also created a lot of unique and artificial research aids throughout Hein Online. So we have something called Pathfinder Tool. I mentioned we have 1,500 multidisciplinary subjects. Our journals library alone is about 46 million pages. So this Pathfinder tool uses AI, makes it real easy for you to sift through those 46 million pages and really get to what you need within that database. Uh, we have a personal research tool that allows you to organize and keep all your research in one place. We have a scholar check tool, which is a really uh, nice citation tool that we built here in Hein Online. It uh, is constantly looking at articles and authors in cases to see how often they're cited by other articles, other cases, and are they authoritative works. Um, we have author profile pages, so you can see everything written by one person all together in one place if it exists in Hein Online. Um, so we do offer free trials if you are not very familiar with us and you want to see firsthand what we're all about. There's no risk, no obligation. Uh, just reach out to us and ask us about our free trials. Some packages that we have available. So we actually work with a variety of customers. As you can see here, we have a lot of packages available. So whether you're just an individual that needs to do some research, we have individual packages. If you're a small law firm, a large law firm, um, if you're a government agency, a public library, uh, a law school, a college, a university, a high school, um, we have just about everything here. And all of our packages are tailored to meet the need of your institution. So we've carefully put together each package to make sure it has the content that you would need to do your research, depending on who you are. 
Uh, one thing we do offer free of charge to any interested organization is our social justice suite. This is going to be a suite of five databases. Again, free of charge. All you have to do is visit this website here and fill out a form and we can uh, set you up with access. It's a really great resource. Um, over the years, starting back in 2016, we have slowly been adding new databases um, over time. As you can see, we cover various topics such as civil rights, uh, slavery, gun regulation, LGBTQ rights. Um, so this is a, a great resource that is, again, open to anyone who is interested free of charge. So even if maybe you're not interested in a uh, high line subscription, you should at least reach out and get a nice uh, free subscription to our social justice suite. With that being said, we have about five minutes remaining. Um, I do see Noah's been answering some questions in the Q&A, but are there any that might be left over, Noah, that we could maybe talk about, or maybe you can address some common questions that could have been coming through? There really hasn't been too many common questions. Um, there has been a couple about, or there has been one about PDFs that I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit more looking into uh, for that person, but we can process PDFs for people as well. Um, we also, nobody really has asked, but um, we, we do a lot of OCR uh, for people. And um, yeah, there's really, it hasn't been too many uh, too many questions. Really. Well, that's good. I do see mm -hmm. someone's asking to repeat the social justice content. Mm -hmm. um, so again, this is free of charge for any organization. You don't have to be a Hein Online subscriber. Um, so again, just visit that home.heinonline.org. You're going to find subscriptions on our website, and you'll see a social justice suite. There's a really nice, simple form you could just fill out, um, and we can get access set up within about 24 to 48 hours. Again, it's free content. Um, we have lots of government documents in here, some journal articles. So if you happen to be researching uh, any of these type of topics, gun regulation in America, civil rights and social justice, how LGBTQ rights have changed over time, all of that content is covered here within our social justice suite. Now, now the questions are starting to roll in. Um, we, somebody asked if we can pro or OCR handwriting that is not possible at this moment. Uh, OCR engines are not capable of doing that, that yet. Um, do we digitize photos and videos? We have digitized photos in the past. That is something that we can do. We do not have the capability to uh, digitize videos, but I do know some people that I could refer you to for, uh, digitizing videos. Um, we don't have a uh, specific pricing for each uh, for digitizing services. Everything is really on a project base. So what you do is you send me uh, samples, we digitize the samples, and I give you a quote based off of the samples and the size of the project. Uh, I do see we have another question about uh, the social justice suite. If you are a Hein customer, is it on the homepage? Yes, every customer with a core package to Hein Online, it is automatic, it automatically included um, on your welcome page. It's not actually listed as a package. It's just listed alphabetically. Those five databases are listed alphabetically within your welcome page. Just a question on who owns the scans when they complete the scans are yours um we will unless if we are hosting the material um if they're hosting the material they they sit with us on our servers uh if for most digitization projects um that we are not hosting i just provide you with this the scans the pdfs everything that you have and then we will hold on to it for typically uh six months to a year until you are able to download everything keep everything you're happy and then we will uh, remove them from our servers. And for anyone who does uh, want to reach out to Noah directly, we have his email here, but we also do have a digital services page, which kind of covers a lot of what we went through today, but also has a form that you can fill out if you want to, if in it, want to reach out to Noah and just kind of get an idea um, of what you're looking for. And if we can help, there is a form on that page that you can fill out as well. Uh, looks like we have another question here. Can you scan text on very thin paper with text bleeding through to other page? 
We can do our best at getting that for you. Usually when I have uh, images like that, I like to keep everything color um, and it, it looks like the exact image that you have. Um, it's hard. It's hard to do, but uh, it, it is something that we, we can at least try to image for you. Yeah, these are some great questions. Well, uh, we'll give everyone maybe one more minute to see if we have anything else coming through. Okay, I don't think we have any more questions at the time, which means uh, we've done our job here, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, oh, I do see one more question. How do you get an account? Um, so, we can set you up with a trial. Um, we can reach out to you directly and um, give you some information depending on where you're from, what kind of package would fit best for you, um, and we can maybe get a live demo in for you. So, again, if you're not very familiar with Hine Online, uh, we do offer those free trials. We have um, great demos that we can offer as well to really get you familiarized with the project, or I'm sorry, with the database and let you know um, how we can best serve you and what you need it for. Um, so other than that, I don't see any more questions. Um, so thank you all so much. Oh, yeah, we can share the slide deck. Um, we are actually going to send a uh, email of the recording. So as soon as uh, everything gets shored up in about a day or two, we will be sending out a follow-up email that includes the recording to this. Um, so if anyone wants to go back and watch it, you absolutely can. Um, also, anyone who did attend all the way to the end does receive a $5 complimentary gift card, I believe, to Amazon. So you should receive those within uh, two business days. Um, so, again, on behalf of myself and Noah, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. And uh, please reach out if you have any questions. Yes, thank you. Please reach out. Bye, everybody. Bye.